Every year, fall leaves draw tens of thousands from more than 20 countries to Cape Breton Island. They come for the colors and the music. This festival is called Celtic Colors. I'm from Philadelphia. I'm from Michigan, and we have color, but we don't have tremendous vistas of color. As visitors flock to the trail, a researcher from St. Francis Xavier University is studying how climate change could impact the timing of those colors. I have a camera overlooking the valley. Lindsay Spafford is taking us to one of her research sites. She has cameras all over Nova Scotia, taking pictures of 300 trees every day to monitor the changing colors. We have been observing in, in the last few decades that uh, in the spring, leaves are, are coming out earlier and earlier. Spafford is partnering with the Department of Natural Resources, sharing data to study the impact of air temperature and humidity on tree growth and the various stages of the leaf life cycle. Extreme weather is also a factor. Hurricane Dorian is being blamed for the brown pockets on some parts of the island this year. And the leaves are moving around rapidly. They might sever some of the leaf veins that transport water and nutrients to sustain the leaves. So we might see uh, a quicker process going from green leaves to brown leaves. We are concerned because we lost quite a few leaves then. And the CEO of Destination Cape Breton says understanding the timing of the fall colors helps tourism operators determine the timing of their season. We've been trying to encourage people to open a little bit longer, um, but if the leaves aren't there, that may impact uh, people coming to visit. For now, they're still coming, still capturing those spectacular colors. I have like 20 pictures of trees in my phone now, you know. Like the music, the colors are part of the culture here. That's unlikely to change, even if the timing does and the tourism season is forced to adapt. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, on Cape Breton's Cabot Trail.